Oh, it's V to quick save. Okay. What's good? The name's Xavier. I train Pokemon as a profession. I'm the leader here. You want to battle? Sweet. I'll take you on whenever you're ready. I'm not as much of a pushover as I look. Plus, I have a little surprise up my sleeve. Let's get started. You don't have sleeves on! Yeah. The thing is, what they're talking about is having a Mega Evolved Beedrill. But since it's randomized, they probably don't have that anymore. That's a little trick! That's not a little surprise! Not I'm not gonna hold little. back. <laughs> I wanna kick your fucking ass. Chirachi! <laughs> the Wishmaker Pokemon? Yes. They will make all your wishes come true. And why do they look like they're sobbing? What's going on? Alphonse may die. Uh, obviously. Um, go fat fuck. Oh, you son of a bitch. No, I do not want to go back to Pokemon. Ah. What, heal block? We're going to use that on you. To prevent you from healing yourself, because fuck you. Rock tomb. That fuck may die. Yeah, that fuck's gonna die. I'm gonna use what fat fuck. I think this was a good idea. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I have a Pokemon for Jirachi's weakness. What would Jirachi's weakness even be? I don't remember. And now you die. Alright, one in doubt. Send the Angie out. We believe in you, Angie. Come on, Angie. We believe in you. Wait, is Jirachi a psychic type? Oh shit, fire is super effective. <laughs> And Eggie's dead. <laughs> and your heal block wore off. God damn it. I go oh whoa. I mean, if I was allowed to buy revives, I would be fine, but I'm not. Which is stupid. Dynamic punch! Son of a bitch. You fucking heal yourself, you sack of fucking shit. And now you're confused. Good. Fuck you. Magnitude. Use the power of earthquakes. <laughs> Damn. Go, oh, whoa. Oh, whoa, really has got it. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I made a bad joke. <laughs> Apparently, ghost type was also super effective. Oh, well, just had all the moves that were Does super that effective. Does that mean Jirachi is a psychic type and you literally just needed a oh, whoa? Yeah. Esper. Fuck it. No, we're keeping Owo out. I believe in you, Owo. Just Here's... use a ghost. Ghost! 
Ghost is literally strong against psychic. Is that a psychic type? Yes, Esper. Esper is literally named Esper. And it's dead. <laughs> Hunch Crow. That's a dark type. Hmm. That's kind of dark. I forgot what it was. I can look it up very quick. Alright. <laughs> Want you be like either Angie or Fat Fuck? <laughs> Dark types are weak to bug, fairy, and fighting type. Oh, Alphonse. Go out. <laughs> I believe oh, you, Alphonse. Oh, yeah, you're right! Fighting fairy! <laughs> yeah! Alphonse got this bitch. <sighs> Jesus, oh, Alphonse. Yeah. Alphonse hung it in there like a champ. He hung in like a champ. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit, Alphonse. Got the Sen and Marowak. Okay, I know what to use that for that one. Just with one HP. <laughs> because Marowak's a ground type. Oh. Brown doesn't do well against water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bone meringue. <laughs> I forgot there was a, a move that's called Bone meringue. <laughs> So far, I'm just kicking this gym leader's ass after they killed two of my Pokemon. I hope it keeps going. Water spout, what is that move? It just changes a Pokemon's type. Oh. It doesn't actually benefit much. About to send in Pangoro. God damn it, Anki is a fire type. Pangoro's weakness. You cannot use Anki. Anki is dead. Shit. I'm gonna try sending in Oh Well. And see if I can hopefully get a magnitude in. Yes! Magnitude 5, very nice. Oh. Oh, wait. Yeah, you can't use thermal moves against me, bitch. But the hail is definitely hitting you. Oh. Dynamic punch. God damn it. <laughs> and you try to use the same move again. Let's try this again. Dynamic punch. Oh. <laughs> he sent a little teeny baby to get punched to death. Oh. <laughs> That's so fucked. What type is Meryl? Water. Oh. Then shouldn't you use the shadow punch or the... A different... No. Okay. <laughs> that was just sad. I guess Meryl beat themselves. Yeah. That was just fucking sad. He keeps using normal type attacks. And it's dead. <laughs> oh, oh, nearly almost soloed the entire team. <laughs> You definitely need to go to a gym after, uh, not a gym, a uh, uh, healing center after this. Yeah, man, I can't believe I lost.
Which is why this goes to show you, Owo is better than Uwu. <laughs> you don't know until you catch a Pokemon and name it Uwu. <laughs> Man, I lost. I'm so glad we gotta have a battle, though. I had tons of fun. It's it's with great pride I award you my badge. Obtain the Stinger badge. Take this too, a gift from me. Obtain TM79 and contain Volt Switch <laughs> from <laughs> my gem. Venoshock is actually a pretty mediocre move. It only has 65 power. But if it's used on a Pokemon that's been poisoned and it doubles in power, he did not give me Venoshock, he gave me Volt Switch. <laughs> Have to heal one hit out the Helio City for your next gem. <laughs> Later, there has a gem based around the sky. Good luck. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Yeah, I think they like just gave me a different move because uh, it's randomized. Or, oh, god damn it. Hey, are you Dr. Bright? I got a letter for you. Some guy in a blue suit and hair left it with me. This letter is, is for the one chosen by Mew. We have your friend. We'll be waiting in the city dump. Come alone or he dies. Oh. I hope you don't mind. I took a peek at it. If I pick a dump, it's just the other side of the town. Y y are you just not going to call the cops then? You jackass. Well, they would say they'd die if you called the cops, so... W would they really risk killing your friend? This They're is like, the cops. I'm a male person, this is above my pay grade. This is a cops, Jerry. They don't care. <laughs> that was not a cop. That was a male person. I and know. honestly, if I was a male person in Pokemon... The thing I would think is, I'm here to deliver mail, not to decide if someone lives or dies. This is above my pay grade. <laughs> okay, now all my Pokemon is healed up and ready to fucking go. Welcome, Dr. Bart. We've been waiting for you. Jeez, that's not fucking creepy. I believe this is the... Yeah, this is the, the cult that's based around Groudon and Kyogre. Because they teamed up for some reason. Are you part of the Mew cult? No, I'm not part of any cult. Yet. <laughs> Look at the snow run, Jerry. <laughs> you know what? This is actually weirdly perfect against a snow run that's fire-themed. The hail will be will hurt them. Yeah, I'm gonna switch to a type that would actually do super effective moves. Go! Oh, whoa! Used headbutt. It doesn't affect oh well. <laughs> I mean if you try to headbutt a giant statue, I'm pretty sure you would be effective. Ooh, magnitude eight. Oh that's so, the highest magnitude I've seen them do so far. Yep. To be fair, if I saw if there was a magnitude uh, eight in real life, I'm pretty sure it would take down everything nearby. I'm pretty sure there's like a certain magnitude that we're not sure if it, if it could exist, but if it did exist, it would literally destroy the planet. I believe the highest magnitude that we've had is. Magnitude seven, but let me check. Okay. Cause I'm pretty I saw a video on it, like I forgot what magnitude it was, but like it's... Oh yeah, the highest one we've ever seen is eight. Eight. So anything higher than eight would destroy the planet. We don't know that. <laughs> well they theorize that it would. <laughs> Wait, resilience. Oh, I found a scale of earthquake energy. Oh, there's been a. Okay. Oh, there's.
there's it's a tsunami warning earthquake so these would be ones that are under the ocean yeah the ones under the ocean are bigger than the ones we typically feel yeah fuck your heliophobia bitch So for tsunami warnings, number 10 is every 1,000 years. And they leveled the, they put the movement level as extreme. Now let's see earthquakes that aren't in the deep sea ocean. Yes, ones that aren't under the deep sea ocean go to eight, not 10, so. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was magnitude 11. Someone did the math. It, for magnitude 11, they said for if it was go across land and whatnot, it would literally almost destroy the planet by how well, much yeah, wouldn't it be magnitude, done. Not even magnitude 10 has gone on the land. Yeah. Not even magnitude 9 has gone on land. I don't think it'll ever happen, honestly. Yeah, they said MAG-2 and 11 will probably never happen, but if it did, we would probably no longer be here. Because <laughs> of how dang bad it would be. Like, I think it said the amount of damage if it went across land, it could literally just cut a continent in half. <laughs> That's how bad MAG-2 11 is. Well, Thank considering I haven't even heard magnitude 11 existing under the ocean, yeah, I think that's just as likely as Elvis coming back from the dead. No way, I just realized the music right now. I just realized my music. It's the creepy pasta Lavender Town. Technically, that's not a creepy pasta music for Lavender Town. No, it's not. Just Lavender Town. Yeah, people say creepy pasta because they're like, oh, it's creepy! It's totally done this thing to kids! When it never did. Yeah. People just like making things up around Lavender Town because it's a creepy Pokemon town centered around death. I've watched one of these uh, cultist members just have Kyogre. Alright, go fat fuck, I believe in you. Not very effective. Your throw can't be done very much because you can't lift the fat fuck. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wait, can you literally heal yourself? No, that's heal block. It prevents others from healing. Oh. What one of the heal uh, fat fucks main uses is to use heal block. <laughs> About to send in Slowpoke. You know what? Nom, I believe in you. Don't die. Okay, you didn't die yet. They flinched. Good job, Nom. There's one thing that Busta does that's that's cute, but also weird. He he likes to just sleep on dirty laundry. Okay. 
<laughs> yeah, he's weird. He's literally sleeping on dirty laundry that's hanging from the dryer. I can see it from over over here. He's just laying on it. He's a weird dog. But he's my dog. Oh yeah, I always wondered, Jerry, do you have any pets? Not currently, why? Oh, I was just curious. The last time we tried to get a pet, it was... Uh... Forgot what those are called, but they are the fish that are getting the beta fish I think uh, the fish that are typically isolated for being aggressive but they're not they're not actually aggressive that's a myth uh. I know what they're called but we got one of those uh, but it was at Petco and we didn't know at the time that Petco is well known for having very unhealthy uh, fish of their type he was so stressed that apparently he's supposed to be, he was supposed to be a pure silver, and we thought he was red with silver. He was Damn. out of stress. He, he literally died from stress. Poor thing. You know, Petco doing, you know, such a good job with those fish! <laughs> They did look happy when they were with us. I do have to say, the Town music it does sound really creepy. Congratulations, Pokemon. Shrug. That is not a tentacruel. <laughs> that looks like a tentacruel that got hit by nuclear waste. I think that's a poison water type. I mean, tentacruel is already a poison water type. Then I'm not sure what they did to it. I think you'd need to catch one to see its typing. You know what? I wonder if it's a poison grass type. In which case, we need to send an Angie. An Angie would be bad against water, but if it's plant... You gotta eat it. Oh, hi! Whoa. Wait. <gasps> That's right! I don't think poison can harm Angie. Oh. Prepare to die, bitch. It's super effective. Yeah, it's a poison grass type. <laughs> Leaf tornado. Yeah, it's definitely a poison grass type. So basically, it's the least effective combination against Angie. Yep. <laughs> had no trouble at all. I love you, Spooty! Spooter, spooting all the spood time, Spooters! Right? Yeah. I request if you ever catch a spider to name it Spood. I did that in, like, the Pokemon Violet series. Yes, you did. <laughs> That was the yarn spoon. I liked that spoon. Very yarny. <laughs> Look, 
in order to curse me, look what Dusclops did to its health. Oh! <laughs> it basically killed itself. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Good job, Dusclops. Oh, a level! What kind of move is growth? It just raises, like, special attack or whatever, I think. Oh. Alright, now I gotta heal two Pokemon. Couldn't you technically just leave, go to the Poke... Okay. I, I am, but I'm so getting a lot of money anyway. So because you're getting a lot of money, you can waste money? Yes. It's the American way, Jiri. <laughs> then I'm not the American way! What the hell did I just say? <laughs> My then I don't works. follow the American way. There we go. Oh look, it's a beautiful cat. It's now a dead beautiful cat. I thought your attack fell harshly. No, no, it was just my attack, uh, the attack stat, not the actual attack itself. Wouldn't that affect your attack? It would, but I use a super effective attack, and with the item I gave Alphonse, it increases the, the super effective attack, so it didn't really do much. So, it, that attack stat thing didn't really affect me. Oh yeah, I should probably get ready for us to go grocery shopping, huh? No. We have to go grocery grocery shopping stay bright. No, you We're don't. adults that do adult things. Adulting is so hard. No, you don't, Jerry. Right? One part of being an adult is going outside to do adult things. And in nah. this area, it means facing Karen. Nah. Whenever you go outside in Southern California, you will run into at least one Karen. That's why I have a Magnum. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah it's food I believe it was yesterday mm -hmm. a PETA person tried to kidnap uh, Bright's dog they were arrested what is everyone targeting Bright? technically it's been a common thing for people from PETA to target pets that's me. I've been hearing about stories about them kidnapping pets since like the 1990s when I was a kid. Yep. I don't know if they're earlier I think stories. Peta should be disbanded because they basically kill all the animals. The most recent, the one story that makes it impossible to find the others is where they there was is one where there's literally video of a PETA person going to someone's porch and stealing the dog. Mm -hmm. That one's probably overwhelming against the other stories because they actually have video. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, they euthanized the perfectly healthy dog that was a little girl's pet. Yeah, anyways. <laughs> Say so you came. In all honesty, I wasn't expecting you to. We heard you talking about Mew as I was walking by the gym. You know, someone who has a chance of being the hero of prophecy and saving the world should be a little should be a little bit more careful about what they might say. So here's the deal. You give us Mew in exchange for your friend. Don't do it, Dr. Bright. It's not worth it. You don't have Mew. Very well. If you won't give it it Give it to, to us voluntarily. We'll take you out now. And take the Mew by force. Cultists, go destroy this impudent child. You it's literally me. don't have Mew! It's fine. 